Good morning, welcome back to Casa Texpina. We're on build day number 271 today. Um, we've got our four painters on site and they're already starting to work. So let's uh, walk around and see where everybody's located at and what they're working on. So let's get started. All right, we'll start over here by the bunkhouse our painters mr henry and mr jr are have pulled all the uh drawers back out of the garage uh sorry doors these are cabinet doors out of the garage and uh doing a little sanding uh before they put the final coat of paint uh so what i thought was final yesterday was not so these are not quite ready to be installed yet today um so they're gonna sand them all down run another coat of spray paint with the uh, very quiet compressor over here. And uh, then we'll look at putting them in place probably tomorrow, if I'm guessing right, um, which I never guess right. So, um, yeah. So, sand and prep. That's what we're doing again today. Uh, let's go ahead and walk back into the house, or through the house, because our other two painters we're also working on the outside of the house today. Take a walk through the garage. Through the back door. And here you see Mr. Ricky. And he's busy working on painting our ceiling up here. So he's getting all the uh, good coat of good coat of good paint up there. Move this scaffolding where he needs it. Try to paint his best to paint around the um, air conditioner compressors, and then uh, we'll keep working on those. So yesterday he did fill in all of the holes that were out here. So um, we're also going to give him a uh, copy of the uh, punch list this morning, and walk him around room by room so that he knows where uh, he needs to focus. Okay, let's go ahead and walk around to the side. Our last painter on site is actually not a painter, but a laborer, but he's painting today. So this is Mr. Jonathan over here on the side. And he's doing the uh, second coat of paint for our exterior wall from about the four foot level down. Uh, this is all the ones that remember way back when uh, Mr. Lloyd was here and he was painting all of the outside exterior walls. Well, he did the uh, second coat all the way around except for the bottom four feet as per the uh, engineer's instruction so that when the landscapers got done, they didn't mess up the, the uh, paint on there. So they didn't want to redo the work. So they uh, left it with just the one coat of paint and now they're coming back with the final coat of paint. So moving right along with that. And then of course, the lovely Miss Emmy outside doing her watering and as soon as I put the camera away I'm gonna join her and do the same thing so we'll talk to you guys in a minute okay a little after lunch our guys have been uh, spraying the paint for all of the cabinet doors so they're putting on the final coat now and as they get the uh, final spray coat on it um, the other gentleman that's helping out Mr. JR here, Mr. Henry, is taking them over to the uh, garage area to get put in place to uh, dry so that they get a chance to uh, not be messed with and out of, the, out of the wind and dust on this side. That's what Mr. JR has been working on. Also, the uh, guys showed up bringing the mirrors for all of the uh, bathrooms so that's what we've got here they brought them in all of each one custom sized good thick glass hello <laughs> good afternoon ah oh, looks good also mr jonathan's still going around with the uh, doing a little touch-ups with the brush and the hard to reach spots 
that bottom that bottom piece of fiber cement board is really hard to get to um, with either the roller or paintbrush one we got plants in the way now but also it's just because it's that close to the ground um, so he's going back over it with a brush a little bit at a time all the way around the house all right so they're going to start installing the uh, mirrors inside the frames what they're using on the backing is a glass sealant weatherproof seal so they'll use that to help seal the back check for fit sides and the back get a chance to dry in place they said maybe about 30 minutes to an hour and then they'll come back and seal the top edge uh, using the same glass sealant so they'll come back and seal that <laughs> <laughs> a good looking mirror <laughs> <laughs> okay one of the other things that uh, mr. Ricky's out here working on uh, putting on the acrylic emulsion clear gloss for our um, stone stone wall cladding so 
It looks kind of milky white right now, but it does dry out clear. So this will help be as a, a protectant for it, as well as it'll it'll gloss it up, so it'll have a nice finished appearance. That should be a nice effect. We'll have to come back and take a look at this uh, a little bit later this afternoon. time so we're gonna put about six little uh, dabs on the back to help hold it in place okay maybe eight just little contact spots <coughs> and then the primary holder is the uh, sealant around the corners we'll go around the edges Make sure the uh, suction handle has a good grip. Yeah. Set it up in place. Press and hold. And then putting in okay time to seal it in place so same thing we're going to do the bottom three and then tape the, the top and sides and we'll come back and get that in a little bit see what they're working on. It does have a pretty good sized bead of the clear silicone going right on the sides. Right here. Right there. Okay. Wow, that didn't take long to dry at all. He finished this side, got started on the other one. This one's already dry. Dry to the touch. Nice. Let's see if you can see the shine or not. But yeah, it's uh, shiny now. How you like my shiny new stone? You like my shiny new stone? Hmm. All right, the guys that are doing our uh, mirrors are also putting the glass in for our office doors. So they had to uh, make a small adjustment to the uh, to the bottom, so they got it all to fit now, and in we go. A little bit of small nails in the corners just to put the frame uh, back into the door with the glass sandwiched in between. Making sure that making sure to hit it very lightly. Alright, All right, I guess they're uh, putting the emulsion on the, the stone clad walling out here. Comes out, it's got a nice smooth, easy finish on it. Uh, nice and shiny. Um, I'm not sure how it appears from a distance, but we've got a difference of over here, this is finished. And this over here is not, so he hasn't gotten there yet. Uh, Mr. Ricky down here is telling me it's going to take them probably two days to get all of this entire wall, the whole front side. So they've already got the two columns done. Uh, Mr. Ricky is working on this side, and Mr. Jonathan is working on this side. So they take a, a paintbrush, dip it in the solute in the emulsion solution. It's an acrylic emulsion, and uh, just rub it in 
all over, left, right, up, down, round, any kind of direction to get it into the material. Um, so this is what we're putting in. We're putting on. Looks like skim milk. And our other two painters are back here in the hallway. And Jack and Jill, they're working on the uh, next base paint, final coat of paint for our uh, the insides of our under sink cabinets here in the powder room. He's also, they've also done the first coat of paint for the under sink here in the Jack and Jill. So we went with a little slightly different color, so a little bit of the goldish color, pulling in both the room and uh, getting something to accent the colors that are in here since the white and gray motif does not go here. So they're gonna go with this color down here as well as when they're done with the uh, mirror, it's going to get uh, the same color treatment as down here. Man, that's a good looking mirror. Hmm. <laughs> All right, you guys are starting to head home. It's uh, yabba dabba do time. Um, so, we uh, got mirrors put in today and a couple pieces of glass. So, now Miss Emmy can look in the mirror. Mirror, mirror. Oh, never mind. That, that was me. I did that. I was like, hey. <laughs> um, so, if y'all like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Costa Tex Pina star right over here and you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below your view screen. You'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure. So, until we see you again tomorrow, have a great afternoon and God bless. <laughs>